Hello and welcome back to lesson 14 of basic CNC programming. In this lesson we're going to be talking about how to keep track of multiple work offsets used in setups where we have multiple parts. Now in the past you've probably written these work coordinates down in the hope that you can find them again the next time you run the job and then you manually load these work offsets back into the machine. Now what I'd like to show you in this lesson is how we can store these work offsets in the top of the program and have the program load these offsets back into the machine when it's time to run the program again. So let's take a look and see how that works. Alright, so here we're looking at a program that is running these four parts and you can see we're using the G54, the G55, 56 and 57 here. Now we have manually loaded the X, Y, and Z values into the work offset page of the machine and each time you run the job you're going to have to keep track of those work coordinates and the program and sometimes that becomes challenging because you have a lot of programs and a lot of work offsets to keep track of so it is easier to use this method where we're actually using the program to load the work offsets into that work offset page. Now here's the, the format necessary to load these X, Y, and Z values into those fields. So the G10 is actually saying okay load these values into the work offset page from the program. The L2 says, okay, these values are work offset values, so they are, they are actually the standard work offset values, G54 through G59. The P1 is referring to the G54 position, and the P2, the G55, P3, G56, and P4, G57 and obviously P5 would be G58 and P6 would be G59. So the L2 refers to the standard work coordinates which is the G54 through G59. Now you can also use this to store or load the X, Y and Z values into the additional work coordinates that a lot of machines have which are the G54.1 position 1 through 48 and then this L2 would be an L20 it would still be P1 through P48 but the L20 refers to the extended work offsets that a lot of machines will have okay but let's go back to the G54 through G59 one thing you want to make sure of is before you call the G10 command is to put it in absolute mode because the G90 is going to override whatever values are already in the G54 field with these numbers right here. Now if you are in G91 mode it will actually add these numbers to whatever is in the fields currently so be sure that you put a G90 right before you do the G10 command. Now one way to verify that is to put an M1 optional stop, put the machine in op optional stop mode, run this portion of the program and then look at the work offset page and see if these values actually showed up there. So that's an easy way to store or keep track of your work coordinates from one job to the next and that will make your life a little bit easier. And so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.